we doing? We're in Bahrain. Oh, after disappointing, a disappointing strategy that I take full responsibility for in Australia. We come to a track that is notoriously difficult, I believe, for the player against the AI on the same difficulty. And I've kept it the same difficulty, you know. I, I'm okay with, you know, having a bit of struggle and sometimes having a bit of luck. You know, is what it is. The engine upgrade's gone on the car. Major front and rear downforce is coming for China. Fingers crossed. I mean, we've we've got three out of the things, so you know, chances chances are. I think I think it's like a fifteen percent. Wait, if you've got all the quality control, like all of them, is that now a, a, a hundred percent of passing? Or is there still one segment? I can't remember what you start on. <clears throat> Either way, we've got three of them. You know, there's a th there is a 30% chance of one of them failing, which isn't great, you know, but still, still solid. Worst case scenario, one of them fails. Well, worst case scenario, both of them fail. That doesn't matter, quite frankly. That's that's not what matters. China isn't going to be a success. I, I know it's not going to be a success. Azerbaijan, however, should be. Because at that point, we will be able to guarantee both of those upgrades. And fingers crossed, this will come through ultimate drag reduction as will ultimate weight redistribution and I'm eyeing up a naughty little major engine power upgrade as well and I'm going to go for the intercooler one rather than this or this on the basis that it then opens up an ultimate engine power upgrade which I think will be pretty naughty now, yes, if we buy it this weekend, then we can get that at Azerbaijan, and then it's going to be Spain, Monaco, France? Would it be France, which is the first race that we could get that? Which would be pretty good, actually, because France has some long straights, and and Monaco is certainly not a power track anyway. Um, chassis is looking pretty good, realistically, despite the table. I, I don't know if I'm going to upgrade the chassis much more. I, I really don't. You know, you've got tyre wear, you've got brakes. It's something good. You know, obviously it's it's a good thing to have it. But realistically, is it going to be as big as aero? Because at the moment, the aero package is horrific. It's non-existent. With these three upgrades, we're going to be already at the front of the grid. I want to look at the minor downforce upgrades, which will presumably lead into ultimate downforce upgrades. Actually, we can see... Hold on, so we've got rear, rear. That's all drag. Rear, rear, rear. So that's five. There are six of each. Okay, so... I mean, technically, it might, it might not be an ultimate, but... You'd imagine it would be at least a major front and rear downforce beyond these ones. Equally, engine, I want to focus a lot on the engine. I, I am going to make sure that I can do that this weekend. Fingers crossed have it on the car for Azerbaijan when I, genuine, I genuinely believe we can compete in Azerbaijan. As long as all the upgrades are on the car, I really, really do believe we'll be able to compete. Because, whoa. Because that. Wait. No, there's no difference. Um, that will take us a chunk up the table. We'll be almost at Haas. 
So I'm excited. I'm excited for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. We have some emails. Nah, nah. Absolutely shocking that there's not really any rain forecast in the desert. Let's go to qualifying. Bahrain qualifying is nearly upon us and the drivers look as if they're all geared up to go. I expect we'll be getting underway very shortly. When it comes to getting lap time out of this circuit, it's traditionally been about maximising top speed. Do you simply remove as much downforce as possible, hang on into the corners and max out down the straights? Top speed is a key factor for this circuit. Even if you can achieve the same lap time as someone running less wing than you, chances are you'll find overtaking difficult if you have too Who's much that? drag. Who's number eight? Oh, Christ. Grosjean, there we go. I am running... Six, six wings on the basis that the car has no downforce. We're all right in a straight line, I think. Um, minor engine upgrade as well. Always helps. I did a 128 point something. Can't remember what. Did that in practice. So a 128 something would put us I, I don't think it was a 0 or a 1, it might have been like a 3, so I am massively counting on the max fuel mixture and the grip of tire. I don't know. Um, do, 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 do. I, I never really do well in that exit, you know, it's not, not great. Hard on the brakes into turn one. Perhaps similar to in Australia, I would see it as a miracle if we made it into Q3. It would be an absolute miracle. Because surely, surely, certainly, certainly on paper, we are slower than McLaren. Noticeably slower than McLaren. This lap also doesn't feel very good. This lap does not feel good. And I'm 1.7 seconds down on Lewis. Who I beat to the title in McLaren last year. That doesn't really feel it. Wow. I'm slower than Georgie Russell. Christ. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 28.0. I mean, I've, obvi I've obviously got to go out again. Um... Oh, wow. That's just... That's just bad on so many levels and I need to s I need to go over half a second faster to beat Butler and Grosjean and Seb <sighs> fuck me I'll give it a good go 
I'll absolutely give it a good go, but really, I don't don't particularly see it happening. Absolutely, a hundred percent. That map could be so much cleaner. Um, Turn one was pretty good, but thereafter, far, far from it. I mean, even even the start of the lap was messy in terms of the exit one from the remaining. final corner. Just one minute. Cheers, Jeff. I eyes as well. Good at all. Wow, we. Oh, that's that's poor. That is poor. I believe I perhaps could have gone through. Charles Leclerc was. Wow. <laughs> Charles Leclerc was eight tenths slower than Lando Norris. Well, we're out in Q1. Um. I have a really bad feeling that this could be a long race. I've a I've a really bad feeling this could be a very long race. Um, fuck me. The last thing I want is an interview with Claire. To be fair, I can just slate the chassis and that'll be fine. Um, I'm gonna wait until after the race to. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to wait until after the race to buy the engine thing, even though presumably I'll get some things here. Probably not many, actually, because we were shit. I, I might actually be able to afford it now. Who knows? Bad luck oh, in qualifying. Not. That's not exactly ideal. But there's no points for Saturday. Keep a cool head and make up for it in the race. I can indeed buy it now. Um, but again, I'll wait, because worst case scenario, I will have the same modifier. And it'll be done for the same time. But if we, if we do well in the race, which is possible, who knows? Who knows what's possible? If we do well in the race... Maybe we'll get an interview, and maybe we can butter up the the powertrain department. 
The curtain rises once more then on the desert stage of Sakir as the players take their places for the opening act. Will they enthrall us like they did in 2014 with that titanic battle between Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton? Well, we'll find out shortly as we get underway here in Bahrain. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of Turn 10. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Can we begin by having a chat about Sergio Perez? That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? Got there are never any guarantees pole. in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted surely, their surely confidence be the into this one. Surely. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Devon Butler put in a fantastic lap yesterday and will start from pole position. And it's Kevin Magnussen in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Ricardo, Sergio Perez, and Leclerc, Vettel, Bottas, Albon, and Lucas Faber, Holkenberg, well. Stroll, Lando Norris, Lando and not Sainz, well. Grosjean, the engineer, huh. Max Verstappen, and Pierre Gasly. Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to I've the also track. found out that supposedly there was a patch for the game at Top some 15 point. Finish needed today. Top Ooh, 15 finish. Okay, I'm going to have to run that strategy because it's fastest. Simple. I'm, I'm going to have to. And it's so much faster as well. Um. Huh. How the fuck do you work that one out? Oh fuck me! What well, what's the time we're gonna be? Horrible, absolutely abhorrent. I no, I can't. Oh wow, I definitely can't actually. Fuck. Um. Yeah, that'll do. Cheeky undercut as well, why not? What does it say? 57%. Still not ideal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's going to have to be the strategy because I think the personalised one is being done based on my practice session program, practice program, and I did finesse it a little bit with the intent of getting optimal, and my my tyre wear isn't as good as this suggests, so I'm going to have to run that strategy, and it might, it might work out for us. We may not be able to defend, but it might work out for us. Every, every fucking everyone's on the softs, which I guess bodes well. Because they might be doing a launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into sure, each one yeah, can. Surely. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put They're some energy into them. The and on the tires as well, please. Softs. Go on, Roman. Oh, the fuck do you come? You silly cunt. Going to go. Is he? Is he? Is he? Fuck. Okay. Cheers, Roman. How the fuck are we still in F1 song? Oh, okay, plowing into the side of potential to be now. Today, isn't it? Yeah, it's Wednesday today. As it stands, it's very quickly. It looks as though signs it's going to be signed up. Ah, uh, driver. Oh. Whoa. Okay, I'm a fucking idiot. Um. And that. 
Daniel Ricciardo is going to sign on at McLaren. That's how it appears. So, pretty much, the, the door at McLaren is not open for Vettel. Whether he wanted it or not. Here we go. Right, so Roman's just gonna probably ghost through us, or vice versa. Or we'll get 15 on the grid, who knows. Huh. Oh, wow, so, okay, so I'm, I'm optimistic. I, I really am optimistic. Oh, what on earth is going on with fuel? I put less fuel in. What on earth? I've been jumped by fucking everyone at the start. And I'm going to dive up the inside. And oh, wow. I mean, I, I, oh, I probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. Wait, was that Seb? Was that Seb? That was... Oh my god. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, McLaren. Um, poor Argy Bargy. Do we have damage? No. I'll take the 12th. Yeah, I... I... Oh, I forgot to mention. Whoa. I don't care. Is basically my catchphrase. Alex, any chance? He drove into me there. That was that one wasn't my fault. That one really wasn't my fault. We're fighting, We're fighting a side by side with Alex Alvin. That yeah, that was that was stupid. To be fair. Should be using more ERS as well. So we've got the inside, and we can force Alvon out. He lost his front wing of his own position, basically. Is what I'm saying. Vettel is doing bits in ninth, you know. He, he really is. So fair play.
also the car signs Daniel Ricciardo maneuvers seem to fuck up Valtteri Bottas, I believe, because I was thinking Valtteri Bottas would be that number two, but it's being sorted so early in the season that actually, you know, Bottas isn't going to have a chance to negotiate really. And as such, I, I believe, I still believe that Mercedes will make the decision that benefits them, obviously, um, and that will be to bring George Russell. However, that will leave Bottas out of the seat, and by the time that is negotiated, sorted, agreed, there will only be so many places left for Bottas, who's proved himself to be a solid, solid driver. Is he going to win a World Championship? No. But he, can, he can be that solid 7 out of 10. And I think perhaps he'll end up at Renault if they... So, supposedly, Renault want to sort of promote from within, get one of their youth academy drivers. Who knows? I know it would be nice if I could catch up to Seb and Stroll. That would be real nice. So Weber is ahead of Albon. That is Sebastian ahead of you. They're on fresh mediums. Their tyres are three laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1.32.1. You're falling back by one tenth a lap. I mean, if, if Seb could hang back a little bit, stay in DRS range for Stroll, but also drop back to like six tenths so that I'm in DRS range for him, that would be beneficial for the team, you know? Gap to car in front is 1.6 seconds. Is that Lando or Charlie? Any chance? Fucking hell. Have a day off. Yeah, 
the longer the longer I can hold these guys up for. Caution. Caution. The more likely it is that whoa. That's, that's Kevin Magnuson. What happened? Look at this, Kevin Magnuson trying to go up the inside of uh, Ricardo. And it goes very wrong for him. Ricardo's not done excellently out of that, but here comes Perez, and not Perez, K Mag, and he sort of sees us coming out as peripheral, really, and then just stops. Um. And then we've got three wide. Oh my! Right, surely there's going to be some sort of tears. There's, there's going to be tears in. Surely, both Renaults and uh, someone else joining the party. See, there was a yellow flag. Although that might be okay. Okay, clear. k is now last, and that elevates us to 10. Point to play. Why is Lando not the screen? There, I'm just not good at it. Yeah, you can't really appreciate the burden here, my help. It's, it's a shame. It is a shame. Front. That is presumably. Is it Nico Hulkenberg in the other house? I want to say that it is. And presumably Lewis Hamilton alongside. Way out in front. Really. Not Sergio Perez, who is. He's, he's been massively better than Danny Brick for a long time now. And Renault are literally the best car for any one of the three areas. All of them. I've been losing time to sad plants, etc. Perhaps it isn't the most beneficial thing for our race. If, if we want to compete with anyone ahead of us, that is. Which I personally do. That that would be nice. So maybe it would have been better for me to get behind someone Maybe Lando. Save a bit of fuel. Save some DRS. Um, and, and just sort of follow him, really. I will... You know, fine, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that strategy. I'm going to go medium, standard, all that shit. Now I'm going to go low and lean. None of them. Hopefully 
this strategy will work a treat. So there's a chance I need to burn more than usual in the middle sector in terms of VRS fuel. But I believe that I can make up for it using DRS and less fuel on the straight. DR so using DRS, less fuel, less ERS, etc. But no, I am I am incredibly excited for Azerbaijan. Wow. Yellow flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. So, it does appear as though... Green flag. ...to stay with Lando. So 12% left, yeah, ish. Please, please, please let me have DRS. Yes. I mean, on one hand, this might be a faster strategy, but on the other hand, Lando started on the medium, so he's doing a one-stop. We're getting the band back together! Oh, that this might be it, man. This might be it. This might be the lap where I lose DRS, and I've sort of just let Lando pass. I mean, I, I have also dropped the Alpha Tauris, which is, is good. That's a good thing. Oh, Christ. Fucking Jesus. I mean, fucking Jesus Christ. You, you do fucking not. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, Eddie Hearn, that's his name. Eddie Hearn. I said to that. It's awkward. Caviar's all over the gap, old boy. I haven't got DRS. Fuck me. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. Caviar's all over the gaff, old boy. I think, I think I've got it, yes. Thank fuck. Album behind, okay, the gap behind is 4.1 seconds. The time last lap was a 1 minute 33.2. And how many stops? Scale of 1 to 10, how much are you shitting yourself? 47. Oh, we boxed that. Oh, next 
lot. The ore scan, the hay. There, I thought I'd open DRS. I haven't. Whoopsie. Tires are not great. Um, so. Last case okay, scenario, we might want to pit early. This car's bunched up ahead. We're going to have to overcut him. We're coming in this lap. That's box box. We're coming in this lap. Sounds like one of them countdown conundrums that we give you in the ad break. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. What to Lewis Hamilton? Fuck me. Some information on Stroll. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Oh. Well, that's in oh my god, he's really slow. Some more good news. Fuck. Um, actually, no, you know what? It doesn't really matter at this stage. It doesn't, it doesn't massively matter. Go on, sir. Have him. Have him. Have him. I mean, we're coming in this lap anyway. Bit in the hard tyre. Are we going to be fast? Absolutely not. Are we going to... The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tyre. Have a good length. Uh, so are we going to have a good race time? Don't Probably. forget, box this lap. I swear to fuck if that comes in. I'm so angry. Battle doesn't, but Stroll does. Is he getting a front wing change? Oh, I can't really see. Go, go now. Not a bad stop. So, I don't. I. He can't have had a front wing change. He cannot have had a front wing change. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Get the RS. Oh, oh, that's a that match fixing that Stroll is. Stroll is ahead of you. They're on fresh mediums. They seem to have an issue. Still got the issue, apparently. So it's an actual mechanical issue, you know. Wow. That that suspension maybe. He's pitted for the medium. Stroll is behind you. They're on fresh mediums. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Right, but... Leclerc is ahead of you. They're on fresh hearts. Their tyres are three laps old. The time last lap was a 131.8. Yeah, he's just got absolutely zero meter corner speed. None. That does pit. Free Sebastian's in for I his stop. Yeah. Okay, oh, our main competitors in this race are Leclerc and Vettel. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept that. Actually, I won't accept Leclerc, he's already boxed. I mean, I know, yeah, I guess he is the position ahead of us. The gap also, behind us no. is 1.5 oh. seconds. Um, I mean we're ninth. So, oh my god, if we finish eighth, then oh fuck, we really need to finish eighth. Wow. So if we do finish eighth, that means that we can get the like 500 bonus points, R and D points. Problem is. Sebastian Vettel is still a pretty decent driver. Yeah, I... Should 
strain on someone else on a two stop being slow. sort of getting alongside Lambo through a corner, both of them going pretty slow, and then, and then you know, pounce a bit, I guess. Like, slow each other down, I mean, that's, that's what I meant, yeah. Our gap to the car in front is 1.8 seconds. Slowing down. Safety oh, car deployed. God. The safety car has been deployed. Watch your delta. Make sure you keep it positive as we catch the pack. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Confirmed. We'll receive you at the end of this lap. This could be the right strategy or the wrong strategy. Go, go, go! And it all depends on positions. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. We'll be doing one no. more stop today. Oh. One stop left in our strategy. No, no, no stop left in our strategy, yeah? Why is the safety car there? Well, I was probably waiting for someone to come round. Probably just the next guy, you know? You know? Yeah. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace.
Excellent. I mean, if I can, if I can preserve the tyres through these, you know, generally high-speed corners, then that would be. Oh, Sebastian's got a problem. Grand. He's out of the race. I know it happened a lap ago. Gonna have what like ten laps left. Fuck me, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't really need to warm the tires to be honest, you know. Not massively. Like eventually, yeah. So it looks as though we're going to have eight, no, nine laps left. Presumably, if it if the safety guard comes in at the end of lap twenty, that will be nine laps left to race. Right, it's definitely not coming in this lap. No, no, agree that. Also, when was the last time the safety car came out? When, when did that last happen? It feels like it's been a while. Well, we've caught the safety car key. Catch up to the field a bit, we're dropping too far back. Remember that we need to stay within 10 car lengths of the next car. I'm surprised that Sebastian called us caused a safety car, and yet when yeah, when Butler retired, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, dare I say, and it's incredibly famous last words, but we could have done a pretty good job with strategy. We really might have done a good job. I, I reckon it'll be in this one. There's a chance it isn't. But... Yeah, our, our strategy could be decent. I mean, Russell is, on one hand, in a Williams. On the other hand, is on mediums. Yep. In this lap. I feel nervous. Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature and remember there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. This is very, what is going on? A new strategy is available on the MFT. Oh, wow. Check your MFT for a new strategy option. No, I'm going to make the socks go 9 marks for free. Wait, 
Wait, Russell's on hearts. I thought he was on front. I thought he was on softs. Whoopsie, whoopsie. My mistake. We are all over the back of Georgie Russell. Fuck. I wasn't expecting that. A new strategy is available on the no, MFT. I'm not doing a new structure. Fucking hell. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh, I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. I don't, oh, I don't really want that to happen. Really. A new strategy is available on the MFD. No, I'm not stop I'm not stopping at all. What are you what what are you doing? What are you why are you saying these things? So unless unless there is a possibility that my time won't make it till the end, which is harrowing. Please get DRS, please get DRS. Wait. Is there no DRS for the first two laps? I want to say that's correct. And then on the third lap is when it gets off. Oh, okay, no. you're in the top ten. It seems they've fixed whatever the problem was. They're coming back up to speed. That's presumably Stroll, is it? I, I mean, I, I can only assume so. Yeah, a lot of squabbling back there between Verstappen, K Mag and presumably Stroll at some point. Oh, have I, have I made a terrible mistake. Have I made a horrible, horrible mistake. Was it was it the wrong thing to do to come onto these tyres? Oh fuck me, I could be looking for like 70% wear. Who who knows? Perhaps more, perhaps more. Jesus, man. No, I can serve, can serve, can serve a bit. Smooth operator. Please come and replace Sebastian Vettel. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. Please come and do it. It was a smooth operator. Smooth operation. In this lap. In this lap. Push now. No. Yeah. Sparks are flying. Sparks are flying. Wow, interesting line. Do you know what that was? That was a smooth operator. <laughs> The gap to the car ahead is 2.2 seconds. Oh, I see. I see a lot of positions, baby. I see a lot of positions. They're going to be getting DRS off each other. Okay, remember to pit this lap. No, Jeff, have a day off, man. Christ. So all I all I need is one more position. That's what I need to get the R and D points 
However, it would be very, very nice if it would get moving to mix two. more if you want to mix to do. Well, go on, go on, have a fight. Have a, is that three wide? Goblin is what we want up front, up ahead of us. Go on, there, come on, come on. There's five oh, the laps of fuel remaining. A little toasty on the front left. First points for Ferrari. Oh my smell, that was a nice one for you. I'm not quite close enough to get the RS this lap, unfortunately. Oh god, please just go side by side, that would be oh. They are, oh, it's incredible. You act like you really do love to see it. Um, remarkable stuff. Stay side by side. Go on. Oh, they actually have as well. You, have, you guys have no idea how much you're helping me. This is, this is beautiful. This, oh. I'm welling up. I am welling up at my old team helping me out. It's it's just really nice of them, you know? It's so nice of them. Thank you so much. You know, it's just a really nice gesture, like a, like a thank you for, for everything, you know? The team I won the championship with. It's a lovely little gesture from them. Charlie. Oh, Charlie. I don't know why I've got this far back to Whoops. Boom. <laughs> oh, I am, I am, I am sorry. Um. Should not have changed down to lead or low. Whoopsie. 
now there's no threat of him overtaking me directly. That's a good line. I'd say that on balance, this was a good strategy. That's that's what I'd say. I'd say it was a good strategy. It was positive, positively good. Is what it was. It was positively good. Oh, and now it's Charlie. Charlie, why couldn't you be at Ferrari, mate? Come on, Matt Gallagher to Ferrari confirmed. Getting darker. <laughs> okay, gap ahead is four point nine seconds. Two laps remaining now. Less than two laps remaining. We are on the fourth. There's only one lap of fuel where. remaining. Where is not ideal? The tyres, tyre, tyre situation is not ideal, but. So consider consider this. Guy, so Leclerc, Norris, whoever else is joining the party is presumably, yes I presumably on worn hearts and would be on a similar amount of wear. And I, I don't know if it necessarily scales up as well, but you know, certainly consider the effect of if we were both on the zero percent wear, I'd be so much faster on the softs. So much faster. Oh, this is your final incredible. lap. Final lap of the race. This is the final lap of the race, just like Jeff said. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. Um, whoopsie. Fifty-one percent wear. The acceleration. Where's some, where's some unit shit? This is smooth operator. Smooth operation. Is that Lewis who's currently winning the Grand Proc? Followed by. Is that. Is that both Renaults? Is one of them a half? I can't really tell. The 
less than a lap of fuel now. The tank is empty. Any chance, Charlie? Oh, he backs off. He, he, he backs out of it. He's got no balls. He's got no balls. Lewis Hamilton does come across the line to win the race. Charles Leclerc is not going to catch us now. And we are going to come across the line somehow to claim 7th position from 16th on the grid. We may well be driver of the day. Good finish. And I he stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. If I were being modest, agree. To an extent. Depending on who else finished well. Yes, another Science historic win under their well. belts. Fair play, well done Science. to the team at Mercedes. Tell me, Ant, came how did they manage to achieve this win? Actually, I don't know where Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm that and was, reacting oh, to the that situation was, that quickly. Was a solid We've seen race. teams in the past like, throw like away was, wins because they were too hesitant. You know what? But here, they that were was pretty entertaining. And that's allowed yeah. them to take the advantage. Because of the safety car. And then releasing those nine laps from the finish. So, so after a, a magnificent a race, we can now see the drivers making their way Ourselves to the podium. Diving in Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. Safety a well earned out. victory for Mercedes. And I'm pretty happy with the strategy. I was worried that the tyres might not last till the end. Um, and presumably so was Jeff, that's why he was calling me in every fucking lap. But. That was, a, that was a decent race, you know. That was entertaining. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. A result that will make Sergio, Sergio Perez, Perez happy as he pushes his championship lead out even further. Now, let's discuss so Ants. Who would you there say is a Perez, contender Ricardo, for driver Hulkenberg of the day? Ball. I have to give it to the engineer. So Look Hulkenberg at where they finished compared Who's to where they past? started. It's not and easy to cut through the field like that in Butler, Formula 1, of course, so it was a Butler. great effort. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Renault's lead continues to grow at the head of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula 1 action. From I can't wait to see what's Probably next. Probably didn't help losing... Wait, no, it was Albon who lost some of his front wing. He finished... Fuck me, he finished sixth. Wow. Okay. Did, did they, wait, did they say driver of the day? I think it might have been me. <laughs> wow. I mean, I mean, yeah, actually that, that spin for K-Mag against Danny Rick, pivotal. Fair play, Carlos Sainz, picking up a point for racing point. McLaren getting a few points. Alex Albon did pretty well. Standings. I know we're only two races in. Sergio Perez stays on top of the championship. Lewis Hamilton does cut his lead down by six points and moves ahead of Daniel Ricciardo. Toro Rosso is both doing pretty well. After two races, that is very good for Toro Rosso. Bottas, yeah, he's got some points. Hulkenberg, I don't think he finished in the points, did he? Uh, wait, so obviously he did today. But I think he finished fourth today, so he didn't finish in the points in Australia. On the flip side, Butler didn't finish the race today, so finished, what, sixth in Australia? Oh, what, Carlos Sainz finished eighth in Australia and tenth here. That's decent from him, especially considering the performance of the racing point. First points for McLaren. Stroll is a disappointment, and Max Verstappen has one point so far. Ferrari, level with McLaren, a little bit behind Haas, a little bit ahead of Racing Point. It's too early in the season. As it stands, Renault are looking incredible, Mercedes are looking very, very good, Toro Rosso are looking very good too. And we have so many resource points. Oh, please give us an interview with Claire. Please, let's have an interview. Come on. Come on, you. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Did you struggle to get through all that traffic today?
You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or any power unit? <laughs> you had a few bumps and scrapes today. Who would you say is at fault? I, I genuinely do. Devin got a DNF result today. That's got to be tough to come back from. That is true. That is true. Great. Well, that's everything. I'm I'm actually I am so happy with that. I'm so happy that the strategy worked when we when we dived dove di dived. I'm gonna say dived. When we dived into the pits. Yeah, we're gonna lose that rifle route to Ham Hamilton, aren't we? Whoopsie. I'm so happy the strategy worked. That was oh, that was incredible. We now have 1,640 points to splurge. Excellent result today. Finishes like that will look good on your contract reviews. On to the next one. We also get. Oh wait, no. Whoops, that's the thing I was already looking at. Whoopsie. 18% discount. Very happy. That's down to 400. And, oh my god, we're gonna go absolutely crazy, boys. That's 512. Oh my god, oh my god, we're, we're gonna go mental. We are gonna go absolutely mental. Should I do it? Oh, wait. So, how much are they? They're 36A, so we can't afford both of them. I'm gonna. Oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh wow. And I think there is like a 0% chance of them failing. So we're gonna go to having like the best engine on the grid. So I, I'm pretty sure there is a 0% chance of failure. Oh wait, no. Oh no. Oh, I didn't look. It would have told me. But basically. We've got all of those quality control, plus a 9% reduction in fairly chance. So I'm pretty sure that's now 100%. I've completely neglected all of that. Whoops. Um, so that's going to be pretty fun. I wasn't, I was not thinking we get all of them. <sighs> oh, wow. We're... You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to Azerbaijan. This is... Look how far ahead that will push us up. That will that will put us in, into contention with everyone else. Oh my god. That is incredible. That's absolutely remarkable. I love that. We've also got 30% wear after two races. So that's not great. Um, might have to take a penalty after... After Azerbaijan. <laughs> oh. But this is incredible. This is absolutely remarkable. Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, all of them. Those two are for China. Worst case scenario, we can guarantee them for Azerbaijan. Fuck it. This is crazy, man. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. This has been an amazing race weekend. And I am buzzing for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. First, I will see you in China. And then I will see you when we are fighting around the front of the grid in Baku. See you later.